Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let's talk about the light compensation point of plants. If you vary the light intensity a plant receives and check the carbon dioxide uptake of the plant, you should get a line like this. In the beginning, the rate of light dependent reaction increases when light intensity increases. This results in an overall increase in the rates of photosynthesis. Hence, the plant needs to take up more carbon dioxide for the process. The graph reaches a plateau eventually when light intensity is no longer a limiting factor. Some other factors, such as carbon dioxide concentration, have become the limiting factor. However, the graph doesn't look like this in an actual experiment. This is what it looks like. It is as if the plant doesn't take up carbon dioxide until a certain amount of light is provided. This point is known as the compensation point. In the presence of light, a plant carries out photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Carbon dioxide is used in photosynthesis, but it is released in cellular respiration. If the rate of photosynthesis is higher than the rate of respiration, you will detect a net uptake of carbon dioxide by the plant. If it is the opposite, they release carbon dioxide into the surrounding. But when you have an equal rate of the two processes, there would not be a net exchange of carbon dioxide. All the carbon dioxide produced in cellular respiration is used in photosynthesis. Now, let's go back to the graph. Initially, there's no net uptake of carbon dioxide because the light intensity is very low. The rate of photosynthesis is lower than the rate of respiration. So, there is a net release of carbon dioxide. But when the light intensity is increased up to a certain point, the rate of photosynthesis is greater than the rate of respiration. This is when you start to detect a net uptake of carbon dioxide by the plant. The compensation point is when the line intersects with the y-axis. It represents a light intensity where the rates of the two processes are equal. There is no net exchange of carbon dioxide. The compensation point is crucial for indoor farming. If you want the crops to grow well and yield significantly, a light intensity higher than its compensation point must be provided. That's all for today. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.